Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do two non-spoiler book reviews over two books that are YA contemporary stories that have recently been published within the last month and those two books are The Last Time We Were Us by Leah Conan and If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Let's just go ahead and start it off with The Last Time We Were Us and it mostly follows a girl named Liz Grant and her once best friend Jason Sullivan. Now Jason has just been released from a juvie early and Liz is kind of in a predicament. She has to decide for herself if she wants to take time to get to know Jason's side of the story or if she is going to treat Jason like the rest of the town does as an outcast and a troublemaker and a person who doesn't deserve a second chance. Liz is a little bit smarter than the rest of the town and she decides to give Jason a second chance and kind of hear him out because like I said, they were once best friends. Now through this book, I was cringing multiple times times when the mother and the sister of Liz kind of came into play. Their dialogue was so close-minded, judgmental, rude, and I just could not handle how hateful and mean they were to Jason and kind of his storyline. It was really tough to read their characters because like I said, I was cringing, but it made me appreciate Liz's character so much more because she was the complete opposite. She was very open-minded and understanding. She was empathetic, but she also played a very level-headed role and a very responsible role. And the times that she was irresponsible and a little bit risk-taking was the times that she really wanted to make a statement against her thoughts and feelings about everyone else not wanting to give Jason a second chance. What I loved most about her character is the thing that she taught the reader, that it's okay to care about what other people think of you, but that necessarily doesn't mean that what everybody else thinks is necessarily right. And I just loved kind of that message um, to this book. There are only two things that really bothered me about this book. And the first one I already mentioned, just the closed-minded and judgmental characters that ran throughout this book. Liz was really the only one outside of Jason that I really was rooting for because everyone else was just completely cringeworthy. The second thing that I didn't necessarily like about this book was how the author portrayed having sex at the age of 16 was completely fine. It wasn't a big deal at all and like everyone was doing it. And while I know that that does really happen, um, I just didn't really like how it was portrayed in this book. It was a little too lighthearted at times and it's not something that you have to do because you're in high school and have a boyfriend. So that was another thing that I was just like a little in eh on the book about. Um, but overall I really did enjoy it. I thought it was a really cute white contemporary book and like I said I loved kind of like the message that came from this novel. I will say though that this book actually did address kind of the consequences and negative things that can happen from underage drinking and doing reckless things. So I do applaud the author for finally giving us some of that, but until that point, it was a little bit lighthearted. I ended up rating it a three and a half out of five stars. The last book I wanna to talk to you guys about is If I Was Your Girl, and it follows Amanda Hardy as she has just moved to a new town to live with her father after some really traumatic and hateful and really unfortunate things happened back in her hometown. She is looking for a new start. And the reason why she moved to a new town and to get away from kind of like all the hate and negativity back at home is the fact that she is a transgender woman. She recently went through this transition and so everything is pretty new to her and she is just really wanting to find a good friend group and a great support system to really love her for who she is and not jump to hating her and judging her. Of course, as she starts to spend more time with a character named Grant, she realizes that while she is getting so much closer to him and they are finding out more and more about each other, she feels that she needs to share the reason why she moved to this town with Grant. There were a few things that I really loved about this book and there were a few things that I didn't like too much, but let's just go ahead and start with the positives. Um, so Something that I really did enjoy about this book was how diverse it was. It didn't feel like any other book that I've ever read and I truly did appreciate that. I also loved how genuine and honest this story
memory felt. And I think it was because our author has actually been through the process herself. She's kind of been in Amanda Hardy's shoes. I think that she took her experience and thoughts and kind of situations that she had personally been in and woven that in with the story. And I think that is why it felt so genuine and honest. It didn't feel like something that was forced or really made up. And I really appreciated that as well. There were two main things that I didn't care for about this book. And one of those things was kind of how it was written. It wasn't written poorly, but how I would describe it is it felt really choppy and it didn't flow very well from chapter to chapter. I felt like the author had a wonderful opportunity to really explore the depths of emotions that kind of come through Amanda's journey, but everything was pretty short. And like I said, it was pretty choppy. At the beginning of the book, for instance, we see her go to her first football game at this new school with her new friends. And instead of really diving into the uncertainty of all of it and wondering what people think if they find out her secret it was just like I went to a football game I went to the restroom I sat in the bleachers for a few minutes and then the game ended and I went home there was really no depth to this new experience for Amanda and those are just kind of the things that I really wish I had more of which is more depth in her emotions and new experiences so it really didn't do much for the pacing of the plot and honestly I don't even really know exactly what the plot was which probably sounds awful but this book was definitely more character driven than really plot driven in my opinion of course there was a storyline revolving around a dance and so maybe that's what it was but like I said I honestly really don't know and the second thing that I didn't care for too much was the fact that we see Amanda um, decide to persevere through some really awful crap that had happened to her and she decided to try and live a really full life she really wanted a second chance and she wanted to be understood and loved for who she was and I was very proud of this character I felt like that was very brave of her to persevere through all of the adversity that she had been in dealing with in previous years. But our character didn't really feel brave until the moment that she decided to smoke pot. And I just remember reading that in the book and I was just shaking my head and I was so disappointed because like I said, Amanda decided to do a lot of brave things to really persevere and to become her own person and to really shut out all the haters. But it wasn't until the moment that she decided to smoke pot to where she felt brave. So yeah, the illegal drug use and the underage drinking with zero consequences to it all just really kind of annoyed me half to death and it really put more of like a negative reading experience for me on this book. I ended up rating the book a three out of five stars. I do think though if you are looking for a YA book with a lot of diversity and a book that feels genuine and honest this is one to definitely consider reading. All right friends well that does it for this non-spoiler book review over these two books. If you guys have read any of these books let me know down below. We can chat about them. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye!